What's up, lady gang? It's your lady licks back with another video. Uh, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I did a poll earlier and asked if y'all want to see a story time on how I quit my job over a frosty. <laughs> uh, so while I'm doing this, I'm gonna be flat ironing my hair because as y'all can see, this wig needs to be flat ironed. And no, it's not glued down. If y'all looking that hard, um, I'm just flat ironing it. So when I get ready to glue it down, you know, it'll already be straight and how it needs to be. Uh, and yes, this is the old weed, y'all. I'm gonna get my money. If you know me, you know I'm getting my money's worth. And the weed still look fine, so guess what? I'm gonna keep wearing it, <laughs> okay? Um, anywho, so finna tell y'all the story about me uh, and this Frosty me. so since i said frosty y'all should already know i was working at uh wendy's um i had been working at the wendy's probably about a good six months you know what i'm saying um and things were going okay um this particular day i probably came in around like 10 or 11. uh i know i quit it was around it was definitely lunchtime and we were super busy when i quit but uh it was around 10 or 11. um when I came in that morning. So, um, I came in that morning, uh, the manager, the store manager, I don't, I didn't normally work with her because most of the time she worked at like the night shift, like, you know, later. And by the time she was coming in, I was normally like getting off. Uh, but it was a few times, maybe like once or twice a week, I would, me and her would, you know, she would do a morning shift and me and her would work together. But so this particular day, she was the one working. Normally, I would be working with one of the assistant managers. Anyway, so when I came in that day, I just knew she had a bad attitude, which she always had a bad attitude. She always had a bad attitude and she would always try to talk to people any kind of way. But she never said nothing to me, you know what I'm saying? Because I just, you know, when I notice people like, like that, that's always in a bad mood. Like, I just try to stay away from them. Uh, you know, just try not to even be around them in their bad energy <laughs> i came into work she was already there and you know she seemed to be in a bad mood so uh she didn't schedule a grill person if you work at a fast food restaurant well i'm gonna assume all fast food restaurants the only one i ever worked at was uh wendy but so you have uh what they call the grill man that's the person that made like the hamburger patties and stuff you know what i'm saying they keep the grill clean and also when you need stuff out it does how our wendy's work when you need stuff out of the freezer like heavy stuff they go back there and get it so she forgot to schedule a grill person so she had to work on the grill that day uh mind you this lady is probably she probably about six five uh i ain't gonna say how much she weigh but yeah she she about six five she's uh she was i think she was taller than most of the guys that worked there except for one like she was like bigger than most of the guys that work there i'm telling y'all that for a reason like not to be funny or nothing i'm telling y'all that for a reason so she had to work the grill that day so um how i ended up quitting over frosty was miss lady um back there working on the grill i worked on like the front counter you know i took the orders at the front counter it's lunchtime, we didn't got really busy. So like we bagged up on orders, but like I said, all I do is take the orders put it up on like a tray for the people or either, you know, bag it so they can take it out or whatever. So, and I would get the fries or whatever, you know, if it was a, whether, if it was or if it wasn't a fire person. Anyway, trying not to make this video too long. Um, So uh, I was bagged up on orders, so I couldn't do nothing. I was waiting on like burgers and stuff like that. So all I could do was wait. So this one lady, and I think it was like her granddaughter, came in and all they wanted was two chocolate frosties. Okay? Simple order. So I'm like, okay, you know, I'm gonna get them out of the way. So I get the frosty cup, well, the little cup. I go over to the frosty machine and the frosty mix stuff is coming out like water. So when the frosty mix came out like that, I, um, I knew that that's, like I had been working there for a minute. So we always knew like when the frosty mix come out like that, like you need frosty mix. So when that happens, uh, the person, if you gonna drive through front counter, whatever, uh, it doesn't matter where you was working at. If you went to the frosty machine like that, you just yell, we need frosty mix. You would just yell it out. And the person on the grill will go to the back and get the frosty mix. Cause it was in a, a pretty big thing. Like it was in like a, 
kind of like something the size of a trash bag and it had like a thing on it and you open it and like pour it into the machine so you had to be pretty tall because the machine was a little bit taller than me and i'm like five five so the machine probably was like five eight in feet or whatever it was probably like, it was taller than me but it, i wouldn't say it was six feet it wasn't that tall so um yeah so the person had to be kind of tall and able to lift a big trash bag full of like liquid like so there was some pounds like you know what i'm saying you had to be able to lift it and then you had to if you were shorter you had to be able to strong enough to lift it over your head to try to get it in there and not waste it anywho long story short i never got no frosty meats because me and a lot of the girls that worked there never got went to the back and got the frosty meats because we knew you know it was too heavy like we weren't gonna be able to control it to pour it into the machine so you know it uh, the grill guy will always get it so i said we need frosty mix the lady normally if she had done worked on the grill like a couple times i worked with her and she didn't have a grill person and she was doing the grill and she would go get it so if no guys were there and she was there she would go get the frosty mix so that's why i said we need frosty mix you know what i'm saying like um so when i said it y'all this lady started going off and i'm just shook she said Y'all, the lady said, y'all get on my effing nerves. And I'm just, I y'all, like, I was so shook. I was like, I know she ain't talking to me. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it wasn't even like I'm being funny. Like, this was normal stuff that happened every day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Either her or one of the guys would go get the frosty meat out the back and pour it into the machine. So, when she started going off, I'm like, oh, no. You know what I'm saying? Because I done heard her go off on other people before at the job and i was like oh that's why like i said i ain't mess with her like that you know what i'm saying i ain't never even really talked to that lady to be honest because i figured she was a little crazy you know what i'm saying or she just one of the people that just had a bad attitude all the time so i ain't really never say nothing to her but this particular day i ain't had no choice you know what i'm saying so i said need frosty meats she started going out about the frosty meats so y'all i um i was like, oh no, I know she's not talking to me. Like, I was just shook. Like, I ain't even had words at the moment. I'm like, she is tripping. Like, talking to me like this. Like, um, if you know me, then you know that's one of my biggest pet peeves. I can't stand people that think they can talk to people any kind of way. And that's something that I do not tolerate. Is people talking to me any kind of way. That's the cool. <sighs> y'all. I don't I don't be trying to get into fights or anything like that. Honestly, I matured now, like and that was one of the first time I can say that I use this method where I just walk away and don't say nothing because I'd be ready to fight. Like, don't talk to me like you crazy, ma'am. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, no. I don't know who you think you is. And you think, I don't know if you think I need this 725 y'all was paying me that bad that I was going to sit here and let you talk to me like you crazy and I ain't did nothing to you, ma'am. Yeah, I, honestly, I, I was finna choose violence and fight that lady. But you know what? I said, you know what? <laughs> what already i like to make people madder than what they already are when they piss me off because i know if i fight them i'm gonna go to jail um you know so i i can't i can't do that you know i got too much to lose you know so i'm, I'm not doing that you know unless they put their hands on me i ain't just gonna swing out even though i be feeling like doing it sometimes so i said you know what i'm gonna let her have it i said okay so i walked back up to the um cash register and they on their register you use like a fingerprint to clock in I, I nicely pulled up little screen put my fingerprint in and press clock out and and um just walked on out the door because i ain't have like all my every time when i worked i kept all my stuff you know in my pocket i ain't taking it in but like my uh keys and my uh, phone so it was in my pocket anyway so i walked straight on out the front door didn't care and nobody said nothing to me so i got in my car and left uh Mind y'all, when I quit the job, I had already applied for a job at Walmart, but uh, Walmart had, I don't think they had called me in, but yeah, like two days after I quit, Walmart called me uh, for a, uh, uh, what's it called? It wasn't an interview, what did it called? I can't remember, but anyway, they called me and I ended up, about two weeks later, I was working at Walmart. So one of my uh, co-workers that I had worked with at Wendy's came in Walmart and she was like, girl, <laughs> She was like, you just walked out and quit on them. Cause she wasn't at work that day. She was like, everybody was telling her what happened or whatever. And she was like, um, yeah, they said they was looking for you after, you know, that happened. I'm just like, they didn't see me walk off. Like, 
she was like, they thought she was in the bathroom. She said they had went in the bathroom looking for me and they walked outside. And I guess that's when they realized I quit when they saw that my car was gone. Yeah, I'm out. Like, I'm not finna put up with it. I'm not finna, what? Bye. And like I said, I ain't even know I had that job at Walmart. That's why I'm glad I'm able to work for myself. God is good because God knows I wouldn't make it at these jobs where these people think they're going to talk to me any kind of way. Because I'm sure going to quit. Uh, and if you piss me off, <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Uh, yeah, I'm going to just quit. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I like to piss people off more than what they already are because she was playing in my face. So, yeah, y'all, I, um, I quit. I just walked out the door and quit because I knew they was going to piss her off even more. I'm like, okay, you know what I'm saying? I ain't finna go to jail fighting this lady. She went old. She was probably in her 40s. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't going to disrespect my elders like that because I was probably like 18 at the time. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't even disrespect my elders like that, you know? You know, <laughs> you got it. <laughs> so, yeah, I just nicely picked up my... Well, I ain't pick up nothing because everything's in my pocket. I just nicely walked on out the door. And um, I know that pissed her off because she was already short staff. So when she looked up and saw that I was gone and trying to figure out what's going on with me, yeah, Shawty, you can't talk to folks any kind of way. Like I said, because I'm not one of these other people up in here. I'm not going to let you talk to me any kind of way. Like, I need this 725 hours. Yeah, I was really getting, my chest was really like 300 something dollars every two weeks. Like, what? On a good week? I might have made $400, uh, like, on a real good week, like, that's crazy but anyway well on two weeks so it, i'll be yeah i got paid every two weeks so i might have got a check for 400 dollars on a good you know two week time span but most time it was three something like 380 something 390 something like bro y'all y'all tripping y'all think i'm finna let this lady cuss me out by some frosty mix that ain't my fault for <laughs> for this uh, little bit of money y'all paying me but yeah that's my little story time i don't want to talk too much but um yeah, and I straighten my hair in the meantime. So yeah, I'll finish doing this hair later, but at least I got it straight now. So yeah, y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if y'all want to hear any more story times. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Peace.